With hues of rich burgundy textured and lush curls, I'm showing you how easy it is to protect and style your hair in just under one hour. This is super easy. It wouldn't be a Taste Pink original if I didn't show you some tips and tricks on this fabulous DIY ombre. Let me tell you something, I did my thing. You definitely don't wanna miss it. I mean, you see the previews, you know what's going on. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Now my braiding pattern was super simple. Y'all know I don't like braiding. Struggle braids prosper, crooked parts matter. So all of that here. So I'm just making sure to keep the ends of my hair crocheted and tucked away just so they retain that moisture. I'm gonna be adding some jojoba oil. This is cold pressed oil. So it has none of those preservatives, those additives, no fragrances. So you're getting like pure nutrients. And so this is really helping my scalp is very nourishing and just make sure you guys massage that in and always take care of your scalp to get right into the crochet braiding technique this is super easy this is not something where you have to get all intricate with how you secure the knots it's so easy so with this particular texture when you are separating the hair you will get a bit of frizz make sure that you like you know kind of caress and like run your fingers down the length of the hair so you can like kind of get those scragglers and frizzes and frizzy pieces of hair like to get in line with the curl pattern and when i crocheted them in i only secured the hair by using two knots that's all you need you have the option of pushing the latch hook underneath the braid which i'm doing here or you have the option to push your latch hook through a section of the braid. I highly recommend doing a combination of the two versus just trying to stick through pushing your latch hook through the base of the braid. You get a little bit more versatility and you can actually create more density by crocheting hair into sections of the braid. I know it sounds crazy, but slow this video down if you need tips or watch some of my other videos in my crochet braid playlist because it is packed with all the information that you guys really need so you feel confident and it was super easy to get through this I spaced the knots about one and a half to two finger widths apart near the back and the nape once I get around the ear section or near the crown which is the widest part of the head you guys can see that I started to place the knots closer together the crown is indeed the widest part of your head so that's going to be the area where you may have gaps if you don't place the hair strategically or you put too much at the back I was working with three packs of hair I had to make this work because it was no way we were not going to have a style I like to challenge myself like that. I don't know if y'all know this, but I really be doing the most with the least. And that is what I like. I like being creative. I like making it work. I like making it stretch because you know, you can save a coin. This is a great time to still slay, but be conscious of your coin, okay? For this style, I did decide to do the knotless method. You can adjust the playback of this video if you need to see exactly what it is that I'm doing. But I didn't know how I wanted to wear the hair. I didn't know if I wanted a middle part or a side part. I don't know why I was lying to myself. I'm like, sis, y'all know I love a nice, clean, sexy left side part so ahead and did that but again i think it's good you know just to include the fact that you have versatility with this look depending on how you do your crochet braiding pattern now as i was crocheting this hair and i'm like you know what there's no dark root and i'm like but you know me i was like can i make it work i'm like my roots are hella dark sis like i'm probably like a number two and number four in you know synthetic hair colors so i was like it could work but i'm not that bold and that daring so i wanted the option of you know creating that ombre effect now you can typically do you know your standard colors your one your one b your two your four but you know i like to be a little bit different and sometimes i want my ombre to look exactly the way that i want it so with like the hair color spray it gives you that option it gives you the ability to customize that root they have several different colors and i chose to use the dark brown. I'm getting ahead of myself because like, you know what I'm saying? This is like second nature to me. But again, I just want to talk you guys through it. Y'all say y'all like my voice, so you know, I'm just, I'm just running off at the mouth. I wanted to also include clips of me trimming this hair. It's not a lot of layering that you have to do. If you are comfortable with trimming your hair, I say do so, but be careful. I always cut in small increments and I don't care if it takes me longer, I'm more accurate and the hair looks the way that I want. And again, once you take away too much, there's no way to replenish that. 
So again, I was just working with three packs of hair. So that was in itself was a challenge but with my big head we got it done and this is perfectly feasible with this particular hair texture it's not super silky it's not lustrous it has that low luster and it very much mimics the texture of natural hair i would say like a 4a 4b you know not 4c because we don't really have that kind of representation like in the synthetic world you know what i'm saying no shade but so this is kind of like that you know bridge it kind of creates that medium where you get that texture you get that volume and it's manageable and it's not overwhelming to beginners who want something that looks realistic now granted the color you know what i'm saying the color is a little you know over the top but still i love this vibrant burgundy color i think it is so gorgeous and it looks so bomb on my girls who have a deeper complexion like this could be your look so you know me i encourage reading directions it said to drape a towel over your shoulders and i did exactly that because i was very scared okay this is a temporary hairspray by l'oreal it has a nozzle and i think that this is what's going to allow you to be more accurate and more precise this is honestly one of the better more functional nozzles that i have ever used and i have been doing this trick for years you could, you could check my resume sis so you could check my videos but this nozzle is unmatched and you can adjust the pressure on this particular nozzle like you can go a little bit harder you know you can have a little bit more control which makes you feel a lot better and it wasn't like bleeding or going crazy or being super messy the nozzle again it allows you to target those specific areas and the desired areas that you want again over time this will fade especially around your hairline so if you have a little bit of a more fine or thin hairline this is a great tip and it can create a little bit more of a fuller more dense look but i'm letting you know if it's up to me i'm going to create my own ombre because it looks the best and it yields like the most natural most realistic results and you can blend it more seamlessly and the dark color doesn't come too long down the length of the hair and again you create a more realistic looking ombre or gradient effect now of course you know i had to go in and do my edges and slay them and get them together off camera but honey this is where you you know you put your lip gloss on you beat your face you have fun okay you step outside with your mask on of course and you just give you know you remind yourself you remind you remind the uh, onlookers you let them know you still got it even though we trapped inside we still gonna slay just that indoor living room slay okay thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up share with your homeboys and your homegirls kick you with me in the comments and i hope i see you in the next one